ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಹಂಪಿಹೊಳಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೋಪಿ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಅಂಬ್ರೆಲ್ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೈನ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟಾ ಗಮ್ಮ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಟಾ ಗಮ್ ಗಮ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಎ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೆಟಗರಿ ಝೀರೋ ಟು ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಝೀರೋ ಟು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಬಿಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೈನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಥೀಟಾ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಿಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ಟು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೈನ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಎಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಕಾಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಡಿ ಥೀಟಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜಬಲ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜಿಬಲ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ gamma function as a number gamma n you get after integrating such a improper integral x raised to n minus 1 dx both m and n in the, both the cases can be fractions real numbers any real number uh, except some positive real numbers in the beginning we take here it is not existing for negative or negative integers now we also establish that uh gamma n plus 1 values but before that very important for your examination point of view also and uh, as a result also very very nice result be attentive many times you will be asked prove that prove the relation between beta and uh, gamma functions so now we'll be making use of all these there is one more result for gamma function 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square x raised to 2n minus 1 dx so one of the results one of the results we will be using so now when i start with the uh, result number 1 after all we want to prove that it is equal to beta mn is equal to we have to prove that it is gamma m gamma n upon gamma of m plus n so what we do is we start with the numerator of right hand side we start with the numerator of right hand side so observe carefully what i am going to do the proof runs like this consider gamma m so instead of n here you have to write m 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square x raised to 2m minus 1 dx consider gamma n instead of m i should write n 2 times 0 to infinity but instead of x i can write any other variable the value will not change you can write x x x remove y the value will remain same so i use that philosophy and write it as y raised to 2n minus 1 dy so now i want the product of these two so why not we should take the product of left hand side to left hand side right hand side to right hand side so that therefore i write product of gamma m gamma n equal to 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square x raised to 2m minus 1 dx as it is gamma m over into 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus y square y raised to 2n minus 1 dy 
Now, if the constant limits are there, we can combine them into double integrations e raised to minus of x square plus y square. I have combined these two under double integration dx dy x term y term and so on. Now, naturally, naturally the limit of integration, the area of integration has become first quadrant because x 0 to infinity and uh, 0 to infinity and y 0 to infinity naturally means this is the region of integration for double integration. Both x and y are 0 to infinity. So, keeping that in mind, we transform this, we use the knowledge of transforming the integration to polar coordinates by the connection x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta and needless to tell many times we use this dx dy equal to r times dr d theta. They are not equal, dx dy and dr d theta are not equal, but after multiplying by r they become equal. And needless to again uh, mention that because of the area of uh, integration, region of integration being uh, first quadrant, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to infinity. For r, for theta, it is uh, 0 to pi by 2. Hence, uh, transforming gamma m, gamma n now takes the form 4 times theta 0 to pi by 2 r 0 to infinity e raised to minus r square because x square plus y square is r square. x is r cos theta. After transforming x y should not remain please. After transformation x y should not remain r d r d theta. Now, the question is to separate out theta terms. 1, 2 times I will take here and one more two I will take here and r terms. So, theta terms are sin and cos, sin raised to 2 n minus 1, cos raised to 2 m minus 1, r terms are r raised to 2 m minus 1, 2 n minus 1 and r raised to 1. So, one of the minus 1 is disappearing, hence uh, r raised to, first I will write e raised to minus r square, r raised to 2 times m plus n minus 1 dr. So, if you closely observe, first integration is nothing but beta, either I can write nm or it is mn, nm and mn are same and second integration is uh, gamma of this part gamma of this part, gamma of m plus n, you can very easily compare to beta gamma functions, properties and relations. Hence, the result is established. Quickly, we shall see once again how we establish this result. So, I can write, so nice result beta m n equal to gamma m gamma n by gamma m plus n. Once the result is established, two or three times, some several times, if you start using it, if you start using it, it will be familiar to you, but before that, before that as a customary, how we proved it? Consider the right hand side numerator, gamma m definition, we use this definition, not usual definition. Now, if whatever is there, gamma of that becomes, now if it is m plus n, it becomes gamma of m plus n, irrespective of whether x is there or y is there or r is there. <coughs> Sorry, similarly, <coughs> gamma m, gamma n, we defined multiplication we combined ordinary single integration to double integration. <coughs> then we converted into polar coordinates. After converting into polar coordinates, again separate r and theta. Whatever is in, th in terms of theta, it becomes beta. Whatever is in terms of r, it becomes gamma. 
so that you should be able to tell like a story consider gamma definition consider beta definition sorry gamma n definition gamma m into gamma n you do it two ordinary integrations you mix as double integration convert x y to r theta again separate sin theta cos theta terms single integration r term single integration whatever is in terms of sin cos it becomes beta m n whatever is in terms of r it becomes gamma m plus n hence a beautiful beautiful result will be established now as a note you see quickly if i write beta of 2 3 that is the meaning of 0 to 1 x raised to 3 x raised to uh, 2 minus 1 and y raised to 4 minus 1 sorry excuse me so it is x raised to 3 minus uh, 2 minus 1 and uh, y raised to 3 minus sorry 1 minus x raised to uh, 3 minus 1 dx so whatever the answer is there that becomes uh, gamma 2 gamma 3 by gamma of 2 plus 3 gamma 5 gamma 2 is 1 factorial gamma 3 is 2 factorial gamma 5 is 4 factorial so this can be very easily calculated now one more one more because just uh, uh, this uh, type of uh, example suppose i were asked to find 0 to 1 x raised to 5 minus 1 1 minus x raised to again 4 minus 1 dx in a usual fashion not easy but this is recognized as beta 5 4 but beta 5 4 is gamma 5 gamma 4 by gamma 9 which is 4 factorial 3 factorial upon 8 factorial and we know the factorial terms and if it is a beta half and 3 by 2 which is equal to 0 to 1 x raised to half minus 1 here comes the problem 1 minus x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 this are not easy to integrate but in terms of gamma function when i express it gamma half gamma 3 by 2 whole divided by this plus this is gamma 2 but here we are getting stuck what is gamma half there we prove that there is a very very beautiful relation gamma half is root pi next we shall see this see this result please see this result now so next we move to see that after the relation between beta and gamma functions we see that how to prove the relation between i mean gamma half equal to root pi prove that many times many times these questions these two questions are asked so practice them prove that very very important question many times asked prove that gamma half is root pi so we use a similar technique here we take the help of uh, we take the help of uh, beta gamma functions we take the help of beta gamma functions and uh, try to try to prove that now one of the definitions of gamma or properties of gamma tells that gamma n is 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square and uh, x raised to 2n minus 1 dx we want half in place of n select n equal to half choose n equal to half because we want gamma half that's all very simple logic from gamma n any particular cases can be found so now gamma half looks like this now 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square 2 into x is to 2 into half minus 1 dx which is x is to 0 dx so x is to 0 is 1 it becomes simply dx now whether you write x or y or z 
till not change. For example, if I write gamma half equal to 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus y square dy, this is also true now. Now, similar technique what we proved in the previous case, we do multiply LHS to LHS, RHS to RHS. Hence, if I multiply these two LHS parts, I get gamma half into gamma half, which is gamma half whole square and right hand side 2 times 0 to infinity, 2 times 0 to infinity, 1 is in terms of x and 1 is in terms of y. As a property of double integration, we can combine them into double integration e raised to minus of x square plus y square dx dy. 1 is for x and 1 is for y. Again, as in the case of previous case, we can definitely convert in terms of polar coordinates, which is in terms of r theta, x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta, dx dy equal to dy r dr t theta. So, it should be on your tip of your tongues. So, converting into polar coordinates, needless to tell that, again it is a 0 to infinity, 0 to pi by 2. Theta becomes 0 to pi by 2, just like in the last case, that is why I am not repeating e raised to minus of r square because x square plus y square is r square standard one. This also I will be writing for the reference. In the previous case also, if you write it is well and good and dx dy is r dr d theta. Now, again separate out theta terms and r terms. So, for that reason I will write 4 times theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 d theta and r equal to 0 to infinity r into so that one of this uh, 2 I will take inside e raised to minus r square 2 r dr. So, first one no problem for second integration, for second integration we shall put r square equal to t 2 r dr equal to dt. First one integrating theta equal to theta from 0 to pi by 2 because d theta becomes theta. Second one looks like this now t equal to also 0 to infinity e raised to minus t dt. Hence, uh, if uh, we integrate substitute the value 2 times pi by 2 minus 0 upper limit minus lower limit and this is integrable now e raised to minus t by minus 1 from 0 to infinity. This term is pi and this term e raised to minus infinity is 0 minus e raised to 0 divided by minus 1. So, that now it is quite evident that gamma half whole square has taken this shape now. We are in the last step of proving historical a very beautiful result pi into this is 0, this is minus 1, minus 1. Hence, this becomes 1. So, historical result is waiting now gamma half whole square is equal to pi. Hence, gamma half never never forget this throughout your life is root pi. But uh, using these two, we are in the position to write, we are in the position to solve many interesting different examples, many interesting different examples. Let us see whether we can do some examples based on this. example. Express in terms of in terms of gamma function. And hence evaluate example 1 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square dx. Now, we stick to this integration gamma n equal to e raised to minus x. Of course, directly this can be written, but I do not want x raised to n minus 1 dx. So, whatever is there, something raised to 1 should be there. So, whatever is there, 
something raised to 1 should be there that power of exponential minus of that should be there. So, that it hints that this should be some z raised to 1, t raised to 1 or something right. So, instead of this I write t here. So, let x square be t. So, this becomes e raised to minus t. So, hence x equal to t raised to half dx equal to half into t raised to half minus 1 dt or dx equal to half into t raised to minus half dt. So, now I takes uh, integration takes this shape i equal to t also 0 to infinity in terms of t I have to write and e raised to minus t dx becomes half t raised to minus half dt. So, now if I continue that if I continue that. that is equal to half outside 0 to infinity e raised to minus t t raised to something minus 1 I should write. That means, this n minus 1 should be equal to minus half naturally here half comes naturally here half is coming. So, that is n minus 1 and minus half are same that means, n equal to 1 minus half equal to half. So, that by common sense we can write i equal to half into 0 to infinity. We are trying to write in this fashion e raised to minus t x raised to half minus 1. So, whatever is uh, in the position of n if you compare these two. So, gamma of n this is gamma of half. So, that is the answer we wanted. We express the given integration in terms of gamma function, but just now we proved that gamma half is root pi. So, answer is root pi by 2 evaluation part. So, see that this part whatever if it is x cube also you put t, x raised to half also you put t, this should be something raised to 1 like this t raised to 1. So, very similarly I am writing one more question before I write I expect you to anticipate the substitution. So, next example waiting for you. Suppose, I write example 2 expressing in terms of gamma function 0 to infinity. If it is not 0 to infinity, then we have to think of different e raise to minus x cube dx. So, first your eyes should go here and see that this should become some t. Let x cube equal to t. Immediately you write x equal to this raise to 1 by 3. This implies this implies dx equal to 1 by 3 t raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 dt. 1 by 3 t raised to minus 2 by 3 dt. So, that the pitch is ready now you have to substitute in terms of t needless to tell that x 0 t 0 x equal to infinity t equal to infinity i is t equal to 0 to infinity. So, e raised to minus x cube first I will write e raised to minus x cube as e raised to minus t root x. So, if at all x is like this then root x is root x is square root of t raised to 1 by 3 both sides square root, but square root of 2 raised to t raised to 1 by 3 is t raised to 1 by 6 again into 1 by 2 you will get this also we shall note it and this root x is t raised to 1 by 6. Of course, d x value is here 1 by 3 times t raised to minus 2 by 3 d t. Now, 1 by 6 and 2 by 3 should be combined. So, when I do that, when I do that 1 by 3 we can take out almost we are very near to the shape of gamma function result e raised to minus t. So, t raised to 1 by 6 minus 2 by 3 t raise to 1 by 6 minus 4 by 6, t raise to minus 3 by 6, t raise to minus half. So, this is a t raise to minus half.
once again 1 by 6 uh, and 4 by 6. So, <coughs> 3 raise to minus 3 by 6 minus half. Now, again in a similar way, very, very similar way, we can write in a just like a previous case 1 by 3, 0 to infinity, e raise to minus t, t raise to n minus 1 because minus half dt and that is half 1 by 3 gamma half 1 by 3 into root pi. But apart from this, there are other other type of uh, beautiful, beautiful example. So, let us see how we can uh, write it now. Now, there is a very important relation 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to 2 m minus 1 cos raise to 2 n minus 1 d theta 2 times this is beta m n. If I if I use this result, very easily you can see that if it is a sin raise to p, this is our p now, cos raise to q, this is q, then naturally p is 2 m minus 1 implies a m equal to minus 1 this side p plus 1, so by 2. Similarly, n equal to q plus 1 by 2. In place of m and n, I should write in terms of p and q and 2 also transfer this side half of beta of p plus 1 by 2, q plus 1 by 2 or in terms of gamma function, it is a gamma of first one, gamma of second one divided by gamma of addition of these two p plus q plus 2 by 2 naturally. So, we shall use this uh, phenomena to find some gamma, beta, gamma values. For example, for example, suppose for example, what is the value of this in terms of beta, gamma functions if at all I ask. Several times if you repeat also no problem, then it is half times beta of this is our p, this is our q. So, that p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2 half of beta of pi by 2 7 by 2 or in terms of gamma function it is a gamma 5 by 2 gamma 7 by 2 by gamma of 5 plus 7 by 2 that is gamma 12 by 2 6 that is not our concern now. So, coming back to one more gamma function note that note that very important note that if at all we are asked to find suppose 5 factorial how do you write 4 3 2 1. Similarly, if I am asked to find suppose gamma 7 by 2 you have to go on subtracting 1 sorry here 5 into 4 into 3 into 1. Here what it becomes is because of gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n using that subtract 1 from this it becomes 5 by 2 gamma 5 by 2. If you go on applying this 5, 5 by 2 becomes 3 by 2, 3 by 2 becomes 1 by 2 and at last it stops at gamma half. So, it is 5 3 1 by 2 2 2 that is 2 raise to 3 root pi. So, let us extend it for some more. Suppose I am asked to find gamma of now 9 by 2. So, if it is 7, it is starting from 5. If it is 9, it starts from 7, 5, 3, 1 by every times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 root pi. If it is gamma 11, then what happens? So, one more factor is added in numerator denominator gamma 11 by 2. So, one more one more is 11 minus 2 is 9, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1 by every times you have to write 2 into 2 into 2 root pi. 
then this should become easy for you gamma 3 by 2 half gamma half that is gamma half is root pi now we'll be using the reverse part of this reverse part of this so this i am repeating for you purposely suppose now gamma n okay is gamma n plus 1 by gamma n if i choose gamma minus half minus half here so minus 2 times gamma half minus 2 times root pi i'll write 2 by 1 so gamma of negative fractions gamma of gamma of negative integers do not exist do not exist gamma of minus 3 by 2 so again you have to put minus 3 by 2 here plus 1 whole divided by minus 3 by 2 minus 2 by 3 into gamma of minus half but just now we found gamma of minus half so minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 1 root pi how many minus signs are there either it is positive or negative so that i am right, trying to write now gamma of minus 5 by 2 directly but if i know this recurrence relation i can find this which is uh, minus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 1 into root pi so now we are set to solve very 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 interesting example very 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 interesting and uh, important examples for you here we go evaluate evaluate first one by expressing into beta gamma functions express or express in gamma function so you can write expressing in gamma functions zero to one one upon square root of one minus x raised to four dx so whenever such integrations are there first thing clicks to our mind if at all we are used to it zero to one should become zero to pi by two by something sin theta here so now this should become one minus sin square theta so x raised to four should become sin square theta our attention goes to one minus sin square x raised to four is sin square theta or x square is sin theta or x is sin theta raised to half dx is half into sin theta raised to minus half d theta or 1 by 2 sin raised to half theta d theta so we'll use this now so needless to tell that theta becomes 0 to pi by 2 many times we did and 1 upon square root of 1 minus so dx equal to this into cos theta d theta into cos theta d theta into cos theta d theta please note that so 1 minus sin square here into half of this part i am writing cos upon sin raised to half theta d theta that makes us to bring half outside theta 0 to pi by 2 so this is also cos theta 1 by cos square becomes square root of cos square square root of 1 minus sin square becomes cos square this becomes cos theta 1 upon cos theta cos theta upon sin raised to sin raised to or square root of sin theta cos is getting cancelled 0 to pi by 2 only sin theta raised to minus half now we get the proper shape indirectly we are integrating 1 by square root of sin theta without the help of beta function functions you cannot imagine so easily 
integration of sin square root of sin theta. So, we can write it in the form of 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to p, here p is minus half, this is p is minus half cos raise to 0, q is 0 theta d theta. So, that our integration becomes i, this is a beta p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2 which is half of, so we have expressed in terms of beta function also, minus half plus 1 by 2, wherever p is there put minus half, wherever q is there p is minus half, q is 0, minus half plus 1 by 2, 0 plus 1 by 2. So, now i equal to half into beta of half by half is 1 by 4 and this side it becomes 1 by 2, but beta m n is gamma m gamma n divided by gamma m plus n. Suppose it is half of beta m n but beta m n is gamma m gamma n by gamma m plus n. So, which is half of gamma of 1 by 4 gamma of half divided by gamma of half this plus this is gamma of 3 by 4. Finally, the answer can be written in terms of 1 by 4 3 by 4 only thing is gamma half is root pi can be replaced. So, that given integration looks like this half of gamma 1 by 4 root pi by gamma 3 by 4. So, some more uh, some more interesting uh, examples can be taken off in that you can see. Note it, evaluate, these are again once you understand very simple 0 to pi by 2 is there. So, means sin raise to something, cos raise to something, square root of tan theta d theta. If you change tan to cot, same answer you get is a homework to you. Same to same answer, very, very similar. Changing sin to cos, tan to cot never changes the value. Now, this can be written as 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin by square root of cos. So, nobody will disagree. And this can be again written in terms of sin raise to half, cos raise to half or if you allow me, I will write it as 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to minus half cos raise to half theta d theta. So, now, 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 now p is minus half, q is plus half. So, this becomes half of beta of p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2. So, p equal to minus half you substitute q equal to plus half you substitute half of beta of minus half plus half beta 1 by 4 beta 3 by 4. Once we understand what is this, <coughs> this is equal to gamma 1 by 4, gamma 3 by 4 divided by addition of these two, addition of these two we get, okay, gamma of 1. The final answer 0 to pi by 2 square root of tan theta. So, nice beautiful question. Final answer is uh, half as it is gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4. Same answer is there for root tan theta. Very, very similar question we find here now.
through that through that 0 to pi by 2 through that 0 to pi by 2 root of sin theta d theta into 0 to pi by 2 1 upon root sin theta d theta do not for God's sake cancel these two equal to pi. Let us verify this. Now, integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to minus half cos raise to 0 d theta into 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to plus half here minus half cos raise to 0 theta d theta. So, like the last case, if I do this as half of beta of or directly even I can write gamma p plus 1 by 2 gamma q plus 1 by 2 gamma p plus q plus 2 by 2. Here half into gamma p plus 1 by 2 here half is there here minus half is there only difference half minus half that is the only difference. <coughs> so, 0 part remains the same gamma of half plus 0 plus 2 by 2. So, now remains is the simplification remains is simplification. Very easily you can see that first let us simplify half and half, then let us simplify gamma half gamma half, then remains is gamma of 3 by 4 whole divided by this is gamma of 5 by 4. Over. This one is remaining 1 minus 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 4. This is remaining which is same thing as <coughs> gamma of here it is a half and here it is minus half. So, it is a 2 minus half 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 4. So, now with little effort if at all we simplify if at all we simplify 1 by 4 gamma half is root pi, gamma half is root pi, gamma 3 by 4 is uh, getting cancelled, gamma 1 by 4 as it is. If I use uh, gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n, this can be written as gamma 1 by 4 plus 1 which is 5 by 4. This is uh, n gamma n sorry this is a n gamma n in place of n I am putting 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 this is 5 by 4 denominator can be written as 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 you can see that gamma 1 by 4 is getting cancelled this 1 by 4 is getting cancelled remains is root pi into root pi hence we proved that whatever the given answer is there it is a pi. Instead of sin theta, sin theta you can take uh, cos theta and all other combination of sin and cos. For example, 0 to pi by 2 square root sin cos theta, 0 to pi by 2 1 upon square root cos theta. You should get the same value because only the role of p and q will be interchanged. Please, please try this. So, we have completed almost all variety of multiple integrations with beta gamma functions. Now, remains is only application part in the next class we shall see the application part. Thank you so much for being with me practice by looking to the videos without fail again and again practice without looking to anything you should be able to draw it and uh, draw the regions and do the valuations. Thank you. See you. Bye.